Tell me a little bit about this OS 10 iOS cross application security flaw. So I, I can only really tell you a little bit because it's still shrouded in darkness, essentially. I mean, you know that Apple is not traditionally as forthcoming about security issues as, for example, Microsoft uh, or Google. Uh, you know, Google's just sort of has a whole open source public facing approach and Microsoft just has, you know, uh, I guess more more history and they've sort of evolved their whole security management. Apple is still keeping these things relatively uh, close to the vest. Now, the problem is with what appears to be intrinsic function in both, like common function in both uh, Mac OS X and iOS involving the application sandboxing that we just tend to assume they've gotten right. Um, two university uh, security teams work together and ask the question, how well does the Mac OS X and iOS application sandboxing work? And they found, and, and this was something that sort of hadn't been tested yet over on the Apple side. What they found was very disturbing. Um, they, they initially contacted Apple in October of last year, 2014, and said, hey, uh, we've penetrated your application, your, your inter-application isolation, like to a huge and disturbing degree, uh, you need to fix this. Apple said, oh, oh, oh uh, give us six months. Then four months later, Apple said, uh, can we have your research? And oh, by the way, we want another six months. Well, these guys gave them another two months and then went public with this. So Apple has not yet officially responded. We and And I think one of the reasons is that this appears to be deep intrinsic features of both of these OS platforms, which are probably not easily changed. What we know is, for example, that, that apparently applications can apply better authentication measures to a number of APIs, which are used for for secure inter-application access, you know things like accessing the 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 keychain and iCloud services. Yet Apple hasn't explicitly said that those those additional authentication measures must be taken. So, for example, this group developed some auditing technology to scan applications, both Mac OS X applications and iOS applications. Uh, to, and to give you a sense for this, of the 1,612 OS X applications and 200 iOS apps, 88.6% of those that were tested were found to be, in their words, completely exposed to unauthorized cross-app resource attacks. That's the acronym they've they've given this, X-A-R-A, cross-app resource attacks, which allow malicious apps to obtain credentials for other apps running on the same platform. And this, again, little is known about this, but it appears that the that what has to happen is that an, an app needs to, a, a victim app, innocently obtains its keys, for example, from the system keychain, and the malicious app is able to intercept in real time, in some fashion, that access and and snag the keys. Um, they were they were able to uh, get several of their test apps through Apple's own store, scrutiny where they look for 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 malicious action so they so even after apple was notified apple was notified as i mentioned in october of 2014 in january this group um got apps into the store and those apps were using this technology that they have have come up with in order to to obtain 
keys, uh, all kinds of keys from 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 88.6 percent of the apps that were tested uh, turned out to be vulnerable. They apparently have a detection technology which allows which means it's possible to detect when apps are doing this. So at this point, we know there's a problem. Apple hasn't made an official statement. They're, I'm sure they're wishing that the world didn't know about this now, but the world does. And the several of the of the apps which were were tested. I know that one password was an example. Of, of one, um, Evernote is another. The, the, the people who have made comments about this have said that this is not something that apps can change. Um, Chrome on, on, on the iOS and Mac OS X platform immediately upon being notified removed um, support for the keychain from Chrome in order to protect Chrome's users from, from from this. As soon as Google learned that this that that the keychain was one of the vulnerable um, resources that 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 uh, apparently could be spied on, um, so the, the the assumption is that Apple can't make a big change because maybe that's going to break things that applications are relying on. And the application authors are saying, this isn't something we can do by ourselves. We need OS support for this. So it really sounds like a big mess, which was was present for some length of time. And Apple is no doubt, even more so now that this is public, trying to fix it. But the problem is I get the sense that they can't fix it without breaking what the, a lot of what they've already done.